Assalamu alaikum. Mr. Moderator, our distinguished guests, brothers and sisters, our friends and, and our enemies. Bismillah, wa salatu wa salam, wa rasulullah, wa ba'd, in the name of Allah, and may the peace and blessings be upon the messenger of Allah, as to what follows, family, friends, foes, haters and haters. Welcome back to the last leg of the interview with Brother Bilal Bennett. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi and peace and blessings be upon all of you. <laughs> wa alaikum wa salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Say how are you doing? Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. So, alhamdulillah. in this last leg, we have a very deep <laughs> story from the brother Bilal. So I will let you just take the floor and go ahead, inshallah. Okay. Bismillah. Alhamdulillahi Rabbi Alameen. Wa salatu wa salatu wa salatu wa salamu ala ashraf al-anbiya wa al-mursaleen wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa man ittaba bil isani illa yawm al So, you know, alhamdulillah, as you know, we were talking before, I was telling you about some of the uh, situations that I have went through as, as far as my direct encounters with this, uh, with the, with racism. Yeah. Now, some of the encounters may people may say, okay, well, that's you know that that could go either way. Yeah. But now this last encounter that I that I had, uh, it, it's it's it was really straightforward and direct. <clears throat> uh, for the better part of about twenty years, uh, I was actually trying to get into the IT world. Mm -hmm. Now, here in America, the the world of IT is controlled is controlled by people from Pakistan and India, without mm -hmm. a doubt. Mm -hmm. It is controlled by mm -hmm. uh, the people from Pakistan and India. Yeah, so understand. what um, what what happened is uh, I was studying uh, for the CCNA. This is a Cisco, uh, which is the backbone of the Internet. Mm -hmm. Every most of the routers that that transfer the information, the bits, the the video, the the the, the emails every the websites that are transferred from google all of this information travels on routers and hubs and most of these this this equipment is cisco equipment mm -hmm. this is cisco equipment so uh, i had uh, you became certified in, in in cisco to in their equipment and um, repairing it uh, the, the software of it um, the ios that it uses and things of this nature so i had been trying to just you know really find a gig in it because trying to get an opportunity. I wasn't, I knew the information I knew, but I needed some, some hands-on practical experience to get me past that entry level point. Yeah. So there was a, there was a, a brother here in Houston, Texas that I met years ago. Uh, and, and, and this brother, he was a part of the, the Tbiliki Jabat. He, he was a part of it. So, you know, I knew the brother was also the head of a particular school district in Texas, in Houston. He was the head IT guy. Hmm of a, a a a district in in the entire in houston texas he was the head of the department the it department the head he made all the critical decisions everything that happened in the uh in that um in that district concerning it anything that concerning computers it had to go through his desk it had to end up on his desk and it had to seek his, his approval so, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm trying to find a job, uh, you know, I want to feed my family, I, I want to, to be able to, uh, you know, provide my family with a decent uh, life. And um, so the brother, like I said, he was big on to bleed. So he, he they were at, at the local masjid uh, uh, in my area. So um, I went over there. And this is the, the, the masjid that he frequented. Mm -hmm. So I was there. And um, he asked me to to talk to, to the brothers. Um, uh, to the brothers after, you know, usually after Salat, they'll get up and say, hey, after your sunnahs, we want you to talk, yeah, we want you to stay, inshallah, you can listen to a, a reminder. Mm. So uh, he asked me to do the reminder, I did the reminder, talked about how he, you know, kind of, not just an inspirational thing that they will kind of talk about without using any, proof, any proofs or, or evidence or anything like that, or not coming from, from, from Quran. Mm. So I, I used this and, and I gave, you know, a couple of talks a couple of times mm. in, in, in hopes in wanting to give the reminder, maybe inshallah guide people to say, hey, man, where'd you learn? What, you know, what, what's going on? How did you learn it? And then give them some more nasiha and also in hopes that, you know, inshallah, maybe he'll say, you know, hey, Bilal, you want to come, you know, work with me because they everybody in the in the community knew. Yeah, they knew that this is what I was trying to do. Yeah, they, they, it was beyond a shadow of a doubt. 
because I would always ask questions about the curriculum that I was taking. And, and, and so it, to, to show them that I was really engaged in it. So uh, one day, uh, me and a couple of uh, me and some friends in this organization that I was uh, that I was that I'm a part of, we were sitting at, at a, a local dairy in, in Houston. Uh, it's called Busy Boy. And we were having some Philly cheese steaks and just, you know, taking it easy. So that brother comes in to the ice cream parlor that's next to it. Mm -hmm. So I go in there. Our, our business was done with the with the organization that I was that I'm <clears throat> a part of. Our business was done. So I went in there to talk to that brother. I said, uh, brother, hey, I'm looking for a gig, man. I, I want to get in. And I know that you have the authority. You, you're in a position of influence and you could help me. Brother, what this brother told me, it turned my stomach. Wallahi billahi talahi mm. I, I was upset. I was upset. But I was sitting up there looking at him as he was telling me this, these things and, and trying to justify it. Mm -hmm. And really, I, I wanted to just, there was, I mean, I wanted to just do something really bad. But alhamdulillah, you know, I, I just sat back and, and I, I gave the brother a look of disgust. Mm -hmm. Disgust. Because this is what the brother said to me. He said, brother, I can't hire you. I said, why not? You're, you're, you're the head of the, 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 the department. Why can't he said, because everybody will look at me and say, why did you hire that African-American? Mm -hmm. Can you repeat that? Please? This, he, he said, can you they, 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 he, he said, they will ask him, mm -hmm. why did you hire that African-American? Mm -hmm. And this is your Pakistani Muslim brother, right? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. And, and, how, and, and long, I said, how long have I been saying that these are not your brothers? They're your bro crazy, he was your brother. He was your brother yes. when it was time to do tablik. He was your yes. brother when it was mm -hmm. time. It's time to you know for you to speak. You know when he's trying to build his his when he's trying to build his uh party party. Now he that he's but when it comes time to the real nitty gritty, Islam is out the window. And what again? One more time. One more time for the people, please. <laughs> <laughs> one more. He told me. Go ahead. <laughs> you know, like again, he he told me. He said, uh, you know, if I hire you. Mm -hmm. These people will question me, why did I hire this African-American? Mm -hmm. Now, it, it wasn't as though I did not have the, the knowledge to do it mm -hmm. because I had the knowledge to do it. I mean, even, you know, we sat there and we've talked about it uh, many times, you know, uh, when it comes to IP addressing, mm -hmm. understanding how to, to subnet mask and subnet masking, all of these things which are difficult to understand. Mm -hmm. No understanding the binary, how it works and, you know, one, what is the one, you know, zero, what is it on? Is yeah. it on two, four, eight, 16, 32, 64, 128? Mm -hmm. I understand this. It was here. Mm -hmm. It was here. So we had that conversation and, and, and I had the knowledge. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, well, I mean, wouldn't the proper response to that question is he has the knowledge. Wouldn't that be the proper response to that after you get me in there? Mm -hmm. Uh, so he he said, no, brother, I, you know, he said, it, it's bad that it's this way. He said, but all of the, the Indians and, and, and Pakistanis, they have, have cornered the, the, the IT market in America. Mm -hmm. He said, all of the, the contract companies that send out people to different locations mm -hmm. to, to do these contract work, because a lot of times what happens is that they, the, the companies or uh, the, di the different entities, businesses, they don't hire direct. What they do is hire a contract company. Mm -hmm. a, con a company that will supply them with the with the employees. So mm -hmm. in, in what happens then is they don't have to pay the taxes. They don't have to pay this for the yep. employee. If the employee gets up, you know, there's it, it leaves them of a of a lot of uh, 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 things that they would have to be uh, responsible for with the employee if yep. they hire an outside contracting company. He so he said all of these contracting companies, which is true. Mm -hmm. Most of these contracting companies are Indian and Pakistani owned. Mm -hmm. And he said, so, you know, what they do is send him different employees. Mm -hmm. And he, for some reason or another, maybe an unwritten code that they have that that you must hire within our kind. Mm -hmm. So it, 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 it uh, this was uh, something that it hurt me, bro. It, it really it hurt me. It, it made me kind of sit back and uh, really um, reflect on you know are these my brothers mm -hmm. now are let, these me really my brothers? let me ask you a question what is the the general pay for somebody in this this field uh if you have a what they call a ccmp uh, a cisco uh, certified cisco network professional you're making six figures mm -hmm. all day mm -hmm. six figures right. you know so if you have about a year six. year year or 18 months 18 months a, from anywhere from a year to mm -hmm. 18 months of experience this this type of uh, the this type of uh, certificate 
uh, and that experience will get you six figures, six figures. easily. Yeah. Right. So you're talking, and about you can work from anywhere in the world. Yeah. You're talking about a six figure job. You're you're independently contract, so it's almost like having your business almost right because you're an independent contractor, right? And he's preventing you from this job only because you happen to be his black brother, right? Yes. And this is in America, right? Absolutely. Now let me ask you this: How many of these? Well, I don't know if you know how many, but what are the chances? Let's put a reward like that, that this uh, Pakistani, South Asian, wherever he's from, right? That he took advantage of affirmative, affirmative action programs in order to get to this uh, position. In my opinion, it's, it's uh, beyond a shadow of a doubt. He definitely used that to get that position. Mm -hmm. That that was a part because there was an, an initiative in that particular school district because maybe about three or four years before they said that the the leadership in this school district the leadership didn't reflect the uh the 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 the, the population yes. the leadership didn't reflect the population of this particular school district yes. so because the leadership didn't reflect it there was a lot of uh, uh, talk and discussion between the school board and, and, and the people and mm -hmm. they changed that and I'm I, I'm almost positive that he was a recipient because uh, of this of affirmative action okay there's a yes. specific reason why i asked this question okay first mm -hmm. reason is because affirmative action was specifically designed for who african-americans or of african-americans black people it was specifically designed mm -hmm. for black people then what they did was that they said oh we're going to put minorities into affirmative action now i want you to think about that just for a second Right now, who is a minority according to uh, uh, the power structure in the states? Who is a minority? Anybody who is not a white man is considered a minority. Absolutely. Now, what does that mean in terms of affirmative action? This program that was meant specifically for black people, over 50% of the people who, uh, what you call benefit from affirmative action, do you know who it is? white women absolutely white women, white women are minority remember what i said everybody absolutely. who's not a, a white man they make them a minority so now imagine white women are benefiting from an affirmative action program specifically designed for black people but not only that they put who else who else is the minority remember everybody who is not a one man they put the brown people in it. They put the Chinese people in it. They put the uh, South Asians in it. They all take advantage of what? Affirmative program, action. Affirmative action. And what percentage of black people, both men and women, get to take advantage of the program that was meant for black people to begin with? You know what percentage? Nine tenths. Very low. Nine tenths of 1%. Wow. Nine Ridiculous. tenths of, that's both men and women black so wow. this program that was designed specifically for black people this pakistani this muslim brother of yours takes advantage of that program that was designed specifically for black for black people for me and he built his wealth based upon the program that was specifically designed for black people and when a black muslim brother asked him for a job what does he tell him repeat it again please he says that you know I can't do that because if I do, I will be questioned about who and why did you hire this black, this African American guy? And may Allah question him on Yomo Kiyama and I mean, who and I mean, why he did not hire that black African American I mean, Muslim on Yomo Kiyama. I mean, I mean, say him. I mean, I mean. May Allah question because he knew he, he, he Muslim knew. brothers. So he takes advantage of the program that was meant for black people in order to lock a black Muslim out of the same program that was meant to him to begin with, just like these devils lock you out of the program. And it's the same thing everywhere. They lock you out of cap capitalism from not allowing you to have bank loads. They lock you out of um, uh, what you call it, housing by redlining your communities. They, lock you, out of, they lock you out of uh, elections by uh, voter suppression. And they lock you out of your own programs by putting Who's a minority again? Everybody who's not a white, not a white man is a minority. They give the black programs to minorities and lock them out of that too. And they have the nerve to tell black people to pick themselves up by their bootstraps. It won't work. It'll never work. So when that, so, that way won't ever work. So when someone like, like me now says, we got to separate from these people. I'm the one who's crazy. Mm -hmm. I'm the one who's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> we have yeah. zero good intentions for you. 
I'm, I'm, that 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 when before that before that incident, you know, I I I always question, you know, the intention because what happens, especially here in, in in Houston, and it may happen in other places, but they come and they take over the dynamics of and the leadership of the Islamic movement in these areas. Mm -hmm. Now, wh what happens is they don't have any idea of the the terrain of what they have to deal with with the people and mm -hmm. things of this nature. They have no uh, skin in the game, so to say, when they're dealing with the people, mm -hmm. as far as bringing them from the from the, the darkness and mm -hmm. bringing them into, taking them from the darkness and bringing them into the light. Yes. They don't have any skin in the game. Yep. So they take leadership and, and, and what it ultimately ends up being, as you uh, so eloquently put it before, is it becomes like their cultural community center. Yes. The, the massage it. This is what happens yeah. instead of being out there on the ground talking to the, the people, people, the indigenous people mm -hmm. in these communities, or maybe putting these indigenous people who have, have became Muslim in a position where they can go out there and really make a difference, make pact in the communities mm -hmm. because they know the communities, they mm -hmm. know the terrain, they understand the history and the dynamics of the relationships mm -hmm. that have been formed over a hundred, you know, at least a hundred year period here mm -hmm. in, in the state. So they under the, the indigenous people, the indigenous African American Muslim will understand that and under they they will fashion their dawah according to that. Mm -hmm. You know, but they don't want to do that. And this is something that they, yeah, you know, and, and there's been. They're not here for that. They are not here for that. And the quicker that black people realize that, the quicker that yes. we can actually get something new going. Imagine, that is true. Imagine, right? These people are immigrants, okay? Mm -hmm. They came here specifically to make a better life for themselves. They ain't worried yes. about you. We are the only people in the West that are not here as immigrants. None of us can say, us black people from the West, none of us can say that we came over to make a better life for itself. We came over to make better no. lives for white people. You feel yes. me? We came Absolutely. here to make better lives for white people. So when these immigrants come over here, and like I said, they benefit off of our struggle. And this is a prime example. What you gave is a prime example of how they benefit from our struggle, and then they crap all over us at the same time. Yeah, bro. It's yeah, it was it was like I said, I, I was really disheartened at that. But, you know, I know that, you know, Muslims, Muslims aren't perfect, you know, by any stretch of any stretch of the imagination. But I understood one thing that I did understand and it didn't shake anything is 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 that, you know, Islam is perfect. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, I continue to 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 have to welcome, you know, and things of this nature. But there was one thing that came to my mind, man, when that happened, you know, and it's a a, a it, it was a hadith and it has a lot of parts in it. But the thing that uh, that really hit home with me is the part where it, it, it says, "Kutu uh, kutu ya Rasulullah, inna inna kunt inna kunna fi jahiliyatin wa shari, fajaana Allah Allahu bihada khair, fahal baada hada khair min al shar qaladan, kutu fahal baada hada al shar min al khair qaladan, wa fihi duh duhnu, kutu wa ma duhnu." So he said, he, he, the, 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 the Sahaba said to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you, you, um, Allah, we were in Jahiliya, we were in Jahiliya in, 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 in Shar, and then, you, then Allah came to us with this good, and, 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 and is there going to be bad after it? He said, yes, and is there going to be uh, good after that evil. He said, yes, but it will, it will be tainted. Yeah. And he said, how would it be tainted? He said, because there's going to be a kaumu. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a people, people. that call, they call not using my yeah, guidance. guidance yeah. You're going to understand some of it. Mm -hmm. You're going to understand some of it. And the other half, you're not going to, you're not going to understand. So he said, the, the, the question, the Sahaba said, what? Sifhum lana. Sif hum lana. Describe them to yeah, us. Yeah, what is, what's the description? Hmm. He, and he said, whom mean jildatina? Jildatina. They are, uh, they look like us. They, they look like us. Wa hum yatakalamuna bi elsinatina. And they speak with our tongue. Hmm. Subhanallah. Who's so he talking this, about? Huh? Who's he talking about? Just say it. <laughs> he, he was talking about people, the, the people who, who, he was talking about people from us, mm -hmm. who, who are Muslims. Mm -hmm. And they're gonna be talk with our tongue. Mm -hmm. They're gonna they're gonna look like us, but they're not gonna have our best interests in heart. Yes, you know.
So again, I, and I say that as 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 to 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 highlight that this me and this brother, we were both we are both Muslims. Mm -hmm. We pray at the same masajid. Mm -hmm. I see him there all the time. Mm -hmm. His children go to the same Quranic classes that my children go to. Mm -hmm. the, the, all, it's, you know, the same Sunday school that my children go to. Mm -hmm. He has seen me in the community for years, doing work, volunteering, this and that. He's seen that. He's seen these things. But still, when it came to really, really being there for your brother, not just giving him 10, 15 dollars. Yeah. He's saying go get some Briani. The, the message gave you fifty dollars to go pay your rent. Oh, yes, exactly. <laughs> so 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 it, it's it, I say that to highlight that we are we are of the same. Mm -hmm. You know, from Jidatina, from the same skin. Yeah, we be El Sinatina. And we speak the same language, the language of Dean. Mm -hmm. But this man told me he could not give me a job. Mm -hmm. Alhamdulillah, may Allah forgive him. You know, I you know, it's you know, but that's I, I, I it hit me hard, bro. It hit me hard. And now I understood at that point that, yes, there is we have to do something for ourselves. Yeah. We we can't we can't we can no we can't depend on these people or any other people Thank to do you. anything for us. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. That's yeah. what Brother Bilal has been saying all the time. And we need to make serious moves, not no sub, um, symbolic moves. We need to make moves of substance. You understand? We need to buy our yes, own, absolutely. Buy our own land, start our own homeschooling uh, groups. You know, teaching our own kids, and especially when it comes down to Quran, we need to excel at that. We need to excel. We have to in the Quran. Mm -hmm. You know, things of this nature, and we can do it. Really, there's there's really nothing stopping us because we do actually have all the resources. We have more to love them than any other community, right? Yes, we have. Uh, uh, you know, a lot of enthusiastic brothers and sisters, you know, and again, we have to be intelligent when we're doing things. You know, I said this before, before we close out. And what I mean is that we understand the more united that we get, the more pushback we're going to get. We have Absolutely. to know this. We have to know this. The more we start speaking like this, the more people are going to push back on us. So we are the ones who have to practice intelligence. Because it's happened with the government many times. It's happened mm -hmm. with infiltrators in the community many times. It's happened with foreigners many times. So when we see these things happening, we have to make a conscious decision that I am not splitting with the Jamaat for anybody. Absolutely. We have to make that decision. Let the the crabs and the coons and the house negroes and the you know what I mean and the tap dancers and the sambo. Tell me your favorite one. What's yeah. your favorite? One? The butter biscuits. The butter biscuits. <laughs> the butter biscuits. <laughs> Let the butter biscuit brigade be the butter biscuit brigade. Let them do what they do. Let them hate all they want. Let them call us whatever epithet and insult they want. Let them make their videos and their sound bites and let them do them. But we have to build. And we can't be distracted and moved by every single distraction. You know, there's a saying. Right. There's a saying that, you know, you can't win an argument against an idiot. <laughs> right? Yes, <laughs> you can't absolutely. do that. You know? Absolutely. The, the idiots are the distractions. Of course, they're going to hate you when you start uniting. Right. Because you, uniting with yourselves, is putting money in your pocket and taking money out of their pocket. Because you're always giving them your money to begin with. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, one thing that brings to mind, uh, one thing that we have to become well versed on, you know, for this, the, this, this, the, 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 what would be the glue mm -hmm. of this entire thing is financial literacy. Yes, of course. Everybody has to be well versed. And very, very, very serious, especially if you're black, especially if you're black, because you've been locked out of capitalism. That's why we're the most financially illiterate people on the planet. That's why we yes. consume more television than anybody else on Earth. You know, it's because we are the program. It's not you're not watching a television program. You are the program. You're being programmed. The fact that we consume more television than any other people on Earth should tell you that means that we are not reading books. The fact that you are on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube, that means you don't read. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a proof. That, that's a proof against you. It's not a proof for you. So you have to level up. You have to raise your game, which is more important to you. You know, getting some knowledge or getting the, the next uh, video about Yasser Qadi. <laughs> you, you know, the, the, that's funny you bring that up because I, I actually was just looking at the research and, and one of the things that I came up with is the the, the most watched uh, program, television 
television programming in the African American community. And you can all, you can, I already had a, an idea that that was it because you hear the talk, you see everything everybody's that people emulating. were posting. You can, you, and they're emulating it and they're dressing and everything. But the, one of the most watched ever programs in the African American community was this uh, show called uh, Empire, I think. It was Empire. And, and the, the main focus of this show was about a young, uh, a, a, a record label owner who had to, he was going to transfer power to one of his sons. Mm -hmm. and, and at the end, the son that was, the power was transferred to was a gay man, was a gay wow. young man. Yes. Wow. It, it's crazy. It's no crazy. coincidence there. <laughs> yeah. You, you know, no I, I coincidence mean. coincidence there. And, 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 now, and, and now even when you look at the second, the second most watched show mm -hmm. is this show called uh, uh, Power. Mm -hmm. uh, and now they have a spinoff of it. It's called uh, Ghost Book or Ghost Power, something like that. Mm -hmm. But it's the son of the main character from the Power uh, series. Mm -hmm. And the son inside of this, this, uh, uh, this series, also the the star one of the star basketball players is or one of the star characters who is a basketball player is a uh, homosexual. Wow, man! Wow, one it's, of the one of the leading that, supporting that cast that you're being programmed. You understand? On mass, absolutely, without so, a doubt. The, the quicker that you get rid of these things, the quicker that we're going to get some work done. Because yeah. these things are destroying your communities. They're, they're meant to They're distractions. They're distractions. They destroy your time. They destroy your families. And they destroy your community. You know what I mean? You, you know, that's funny because Ibn uh, Qayyim, uh, Qayyim, he says that, you know, you, you, they, when you destroy, your, when you waste your time, this is more, uh, 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 it's, it's worse than, than you dying. Mm -hmm. He said it's worse than die. And he said, because when you destroy your your when 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 you die, you're gonna meet a law. But when you destroy your time mm -hmm. with something other than a law, you you know, you, you don't look forward to that meeting with the law. Yes, absolutely. SubhanAllah. Absolutely. Yeah. We we have we have the, the we definitely have the people, we definitely have the resources, we definitely have the time. We do. Yes. Right? So all these distractions, let the coons do the distractions and leave those people alone. Of course, they're going to speak yeah. against us. Of course, they will make videos against us. Of course, they're going to criticize us. You need to decide what you're going to do. Yeah. Leave the house Negroes alone and let them stay in the house with Massa in them. And we can build our own nation, you know? <laughs> yes. All right. JazakAllah khair, bro. Any last words before we go? You know, uh, the, the, the only thing that I, I have to say is that uh, we have to change our mindset. Mm -hmm. um, like, like I was telling you earlier, uh, a l little, just, you know, th the final thing is that we have to change our mindset because when you change your mindset, you change your trajectory, mm -hmm. you change your direction. Yeah. And, and if you try to just change it physically, it won't work because your mind is still stuck in the same cycle. Mm -hmm. So, uh, one time I was in Dallas and I was on a, a dark train and, uh, I heard uh, it was, I was in South Dallas. I was, and I heard some, um, there was a, 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 a an older man and the transit cop talking. And they were saying that how South Dallas had changed so much and for the worse. So they said, if, in, if, some, if just half of these athletes and musicians, you know, rappers that have made it would come back and put money back into South Dallas, that that would solve all the problems. Mm -hmm. So I asked the, the officer politely, I said, can I interject? He said, yeah, go ahead. So I told him, I said, sir, if you took all the money from every person in the world right now, Mm -hmm. and you gave it to every poor person within a matter of a year mm -hmm. or two the rich people will be rich again and the poor people will be poor again of course and he said what what why is that what do you mean i said but it's because the mindset, the mindset yeah. i said the rich people are going to be thinking about ways to accumulate money mm -hmm. while the poor person is going to be talking about i got to get some spinners i got to go get that bugatti I gotta go get that that po that, that polo, that Rolex, that yeah. this, that this yeah. that's a mindset. Yes. The, the mental so there has to be a ended. shift. Yeah, there needs to be a shift. There needs to be yeah. a complete uh paradigm shift, you know, at first yes. mentally. First mentally. Yes. And that comes from losing the fear of those people who are criticizing you as well. You know what I mean? Losing the fear. Yeah. Yes. Don't fear the people, be afraid of Allah, man. Who that's it. who's gonna have a better standing? Uh, before Allah, the one who fought against the oppression or the one who fought for the oppressors. You Absolutely. need to choose which side you're going to be on. Yes. I've, yes. I've chosen my side and I made it very firm and very clear. And everybody mm -hmm. else has to do that, man. 
You know, yeah. we have to work as a unit. As a, we can't stop doing these things individually. Any, we can't do things individually anymore. We have to do things as a unit, as a group, as a community. Yes. And I keep saying, every last one of us has something to offer. Even yes, absolutely. If, even if it's a small thing, we can all do something. But we have, we have to do it together. We have to have each other's back. You know, we have to have better manners with each other. Deal with each other with more mercy, especially if you're black, because nobody has mercy for you. You we yeah. just witnessed. Look, look what how the Pakistani brother dealt with you, brother. Brother, Pakistani brother. <laughs> Look how he dealt with you. That's what I thought. You know, you know what I mean? You know, you know? So we don't have anything to prove to any other group. We've shown our loyalty to the to the Muslims already time and time and time and time again. And we're the ones who are getting stabbed in the back time and time and time again. Yes. So we start we need to stop begging other people for brotherhood and be brotherhood brothers to one another. No, 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 no. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean. Exactly. Uh please like, yeah, yeah. please subscribe, please share. Please hit me up on Patreon. You know, support your grassroots Black Muslim media. Jazakumullah yes. <laughs> yes. khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.